Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Kuro and I run Kimono Dungeon Fursuits. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. In this week's video, I wanted to discuss your character here artwork and how it works. So sit back, relax, and let's get into the video. So your character here artwork, otherwise known as YCH artwork. If you don't know what it is, it is having your own persona drawn as either a pre-made pose or design that another artist will sell to the highest bidder usually. Having your character drawn is one of the many positives and joys of being a furry, but sometimes you might not have the best idea of how you want the artwork envisioned or drawn up. Or, unfortunately, your favorite artist might be closed for commissions. This is especially common with very popular artists. However, don't worry, there is usually opportunities to check out your character here commissions instead. These allow you the opportunity to bid on the chance to get a cool picture of your character at a relatively decent price depending on who is offering it. Sometimes your character here auctions can just be one character. Sometimes it can be a great many characters, so you might be in a photo with a bunch of other cool furries. So YCH is the acronym for your character here, and it's essentially a piece of artwork that the artist has just drawn the armature or the rough sketch, and is it's basically an unfinished piece that they will post online and have you pay to have your character added into the scene with a predetermined pose and sometimes expression. There are so many types of your character here style auctions and commissions, and it's usually done by an artist by artist basis. So let's first start off with how your character here commissions typically go. Oftentimes you will have the option to bid or buy out the artwork. This is typical just like any auction site like the dealer's den. There is a start price, sometimes a reserve or minimum price, as well as a buyout option. The artist will throw up basic requirements for bidding, including sometimes they don't want overly complex characters. Looking at me, I'm usually barred from many your character here auctions. It sucks. Or they'll charge a higher fee, some nominal price, whatever it might be. And as long as you meet the requirements, rules, and whatever else they might have, you're able to bid. Sometimes artists want pre-approval of your persona before they will allow you to bid. It's an artist by artist situation and just make sure you read the rules. Most terminology and rules are pretty universal, but if the artist has a specific vision for the piece, they might have additional restrictions on what types of characters may apply. Some people only want dragon characters. Some people might not be comfortable with drawing dragon characters and only want dogs. Understanding these basics will help you and the artist have a smooth situation and will leave you both satisfied and happy. Hey, yeah, satisfied. So typical your character here terminology and kind of the process is different from a custom commission piece. Like I mentioned, they're typically run in auction format and you will be bidding against probably multiple people to have your character featured in the artwork piece. You may even be forced to do a buy it now option if you really want your character drawn by a specific artist. The artist hosting the auction will have a specific section usually for people to bid. If this is on social media, they will have a comment that they will post usually saying bid here and you will reply to them with your bid and typically when someone is bidding or outbidding you, they will reply to you so you get a notification. And this alerts both you, the people you're bidding against, and the artist that a new bid has been placed. Some people do accept private offers so no one else can see the bid and it's anonymous, but there are others that won't let you do this. There are also common acronyms that you should be aware of when bidding on a Your Character Here auction. These are some of the most common. SB, which stands for starting bid, and is the starting point of the piece. You must increase from that point. MB, which stands for minimum bid. This is the minimum amount that the bid must increase by for it to be considered a valid bid. Some people do $5 increments. Some people do $100 increments. It just depends on the artist. This prevents people from only bidding in small increments like a penny on more expensive au auctions or otherwise being a troll or turd and trying to just 
snipe without paying much more. MI stands for minimum increment. This is exactly the same as minimum bid, just a different, lesser used, I think, acronym. AB stands for auto buy. This is the maximum amount that the artist will put up, and this is a guaranteed slot on the Your Character Gear commission. Some artists do a certain percentage above their starting price. For example, if the piece started at $100, the auto buy might be 1000 and that will automatically end the auction. Again, artist by artist basis, it just depends. When bidding on a Your Character Gear slot, you might have the following available. And it's always a good rule of thumb that when bidding on a Your Character Here slot to have the following things available. All the funds to cover the amount you just offered on the bid, a visual reference of your character if they didn't require it beforehand. And if you don't have a reference sheet, contact the artist prior to bidding to see if they will still accept a detailed description in its place. But it's good to have a ref sheet. Just, just do it. And also be aware of what artists take what forms of payment. Some artists may require you to use a specific payment method or cover any fees associated with those services. Taxes are a thing. They're sales tax. You gotta pay that shit. And these usually are listed in the rules laid out by the artist. And of course, this should be obvious, but if you win, please pay in a timely fashion. Artists aren't banks. Artists rely on this income to live. You're not paying them an exposure. This is intense skilled labor. And by waiting to pay, this creates a negative experience both for the artists and the winning person. And this is a way for you to prevent losing your spot. If you don't pay in a timely manner, you risk losing your spot, you risk wasting that artist's time, and you risk being blacklisted from ever buying a slot from them again. Some artists will accept a partial down payment, but most require it upfront before starting. Along with the common acronyms, there are a bunch of different types of your character here artwork. And the typical three include unlimited and limited templates, which the artist will offer to let multiple people buy the same scene or pose. The artist then uses that same template of each commission character. This is an everyone wins type situation. This type is typically a very simple, affordable, and generally isn't run in an auction style your character here. You usually will pay a flat fee after they decide if they like your character and it will fit the template provided. Some artists will allow unlimited amount of slots for these types of things. Usually they have a base that they kind of fill in and work off of that. Another type is a one of a kind commission. These are probably the most popular and well known and whoever wins the highest bid will have that piece done. And usually the artist will only do one, maybe two of those at most. And then they will never do it that pose or that scene again. It's a very personalized commission and it is 100% unique, which is important. And that's really why you're paying such a price for that. And then the third type, as I mentioned, is the multi-character one. And this is where multiple characters and slots will be offered in the auction, allowing for two or more characters to be drawn together in a predetermined scene and pose. Multi-character auctions typically run exactly as the same as single character versions, but you have multiple people bidding on multiple sections. Certain sections might be more desirable than other sections as well, thus those spots may be more expensive than the others. So keep this in mind and when bidding on these types of auctions, you may end up having your character drawn with complete strangers and other characters and you may run the risk of being drawn with someone you might not like. If you have multiple characters, you of course can bid on multiple slots to be featured together. Also keep in mind where you're bidding for. If you want the focal point of the piece, you're going to be paying for the focal point of the piece. So these types of auctions can be found wherever artists post their work. There's so many places that offer these. Amino, Telegram, DeviantArt, Fur Affinity, Instagram, TikTok, Patreon, the like. I could go on. Typically art specific places like for Affinity, Weasel, and DeviantArt, and I think even ArtStation. Those are typically where you will find these. I've seen quite a few on Amino as well. And it's very easy to search for your character here, auctions and commissions on these sites as well using the search function. So if you're looking for a your character here style commission, it pays to follow your favorite artists and keep up with what they're doing to see if they ever offer them. So what's the pros and cons of your character here style artwork? 
Some of the pros are there's more artistic freedom. The artist can fully express themselves with the theme, scene, pose, and so on with the artwork without much influence from the commissioner in those areas. Commissioners are then often inspired by these pre-planned artworks and can easily imagine their character fitting perfectly in the scene. So if you don't like a scene, then you won't bid on it and you'll find another one that you do like. They can be more affordable than commissioning an artist outright. On the downside, they can also be more expensive if the artist is really popular or the bidding turns into a bid war. This creates very good social engagement for the artists. Some social media and art gallery browsers like to display images based on an algorithm. And we all know that likes, comments, replies, and the like really do boost accounts and certain pieces. And they might show up on an explore page, be viewed more if on TikTok, or show up on the popular pages of Fur Affinity or DeviantArt and the like. This also allows artists to get paid for an original idea. I like to think of your character here as sort of the same way as a pre-made. Certain people will like them, certain people won't. And sometimes pre-made fursuits are very beautiful, just like a pre-made your character here scene might be very beautiful. And sometimes artists will use these beautiful scenes and keep them in mind, but they might not be able to afford to spend unpaid hours creating it. So this solves the dilemma of not being able to just create a piece of a certain beautiful scene that they have in mind while not getting paid for it, this offers a way to get paid. There are of course cons to your character here auctions as well. They might be seen as cookie cutter or less original. This is especially popular or especially common with the unlimited template style. Constant your character here ads can get spammy. We all know that people don't like to get spammed with ads, auctions, and offerings to buy things. So if you watch or follow a bunch of artists and several of them are doing auctions at the same time, your Instagram for affinity feed might get filled with these notifications. It might get annoying and you might miss certain comments that you needed to see in the shuffle of all the responses from the auction. This also eliminates the element of surprise. Having known the scene and pose and style that it will be done in might ruin the joy of the surprise or drastically reduce it, but the overall enjoyment of seeing your character in that scene you already love will still be there. So this might not necessarily be a con, it's just something to keep in mind. So your character here commissions are an awesome way to get artwork of your persona or OC at a pretty decent price. It's a great way to get art from an extremely popular artist that you might otherwise not be able to. These are another different option versus commission or standard commissions and might be a fun thing if you are an aspiring artist to dip your toes into the water of selling art. So what are your thoughts on your character here commissions? Do you like them? Have you bought them before? Do you offer them? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing as it really does help out my channel and helps get my videos out to other viewers like you. So thanks so much for tuning in guys. As always, I will catch you next week in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kuro from Kimono Dungeon Fursuits. Bye for now.